Hi and welcome to another video of Made by Seam. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make this beautiful ear warmer headband um, with a beautiful puff stitch um, but it's a little bit different than you usually the puff stitch see um, in other patterns. Um, I made it with a twist as well. I do have another video with a headband. Uh, where you can where, where I made this beautiful twist um, so if you want to see that one as well I'm gonna put it at the very end of this video for now I'm gonna show you guys how to make this a beautiful headband in this video please enjoy and bye for now For this tutorial, I'm going to use this beautiful yarn. It is the Premium 6 from Lummy Yarns. Look at that. Uh, Lummy Yarns is a Dutch company which can be found on www.lummyyarns.com. Here is the address. Um, this is a, I think it's a bulky or a chunky yarn. Um, I always mix the bulky and the chunky yarns up, so forgive me if I'm saying it in the wrong way. I think it's a chunky yarn. Um, they do advise to knit or crochet this with a 6 to 7 millimeter hook or uh, knitting needles. It has 100 grams and 107 meters per skein of yarn, and it's a 100% acrylic yarn. It is super super soft I love this yarn then I'm going to use the 7 millimeter crochet hook from Clove Amour um, I do have a pretty loose tension if you have uh, a tension um, a tighter tension um, I would suggest to go a hook size up one of my friends um, we know that if I use the 7 millimeter, then she needs to use the 8 millimeter hook. And then we do have actually the same size um, that we want. So um, try it out if you need the 7 or 8 millimeter crochet hook. Then uh, a pair of scissors, a darning needle to sew in all my ends, and a stitch marker. Make a slip knot on your hook, but be sure to leave a little bit of a tail end so you can sew it in easier later on. Right, now, um, usually when you start off a pattern like this, um, what you do is you make a long chain and then you start working into the chain stitches. Um, for a couple of my patterns I did it different because I think it is easier and um, it looks more pretty. So um, I want to do the same with this ear warmer headband um, and I'm going to show you guys um, how I do this. Now, so you start off with a slip knot on your hook and then you make a chain of three. One, two, three. And if you made my uh, favorite cow shawl 2.0 or if you made the two-piece summer breeze top already, the, both patterns um, can be found on my YouTube channel, then this is a little different because in those patterns um, I did a, um, a, treble, a treble crochet. Yeah, I did a treble crochet. And in this one, I'm just doing a double crochet. So a chain of three, then a yarn over, go back to the first chain, the first one that you did, insert your hook and be sure that you 
grab both loops. There you go. Almost. There you go. So you have two loops on the hook. Yarn over. Pull through. Yarn over. Pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. Now you have your first loop. Chain two. One, two. Make a double crochet in your previous loop here. Now you have two of these loops. Chain two. Go back to the previous loop and make a double crochet. Now you have one, two, three of these loops. Chain two and double crochet into the space of your previous loop. Now you have four of these loops. Now, um, you need the amount of loops that will fit around your head. Let me show you what you should me measure. Like this is your head and um, the ear warmer or headband will be around your head like this. So go on the back side of your head, over your forehead, over your ear, on, your, on the back side of your head, over your other ear. Okay, so that is how you wear your um, headband. So that's basically what you need to measure, right? Okay, so that is what you need um, for the complete length. Now usually I tell you guys for a headband that you need um, the amount of chain stitches or loops uh, minus um, an inch or minus um, two to three centimeters because this will stretch a little. But because we're going to make that twist, it'll it'll need some yarn. Uh, it'll need some um, length. That's what I should say. It, it needs some length to make that twist. So therefore, just go for the um, centimeters that you will need. Okay. So if, for example, if your head um, is um, fifty-six centimeters, or this amount of inches, um, that is what you, sp you should crochet and nothing less because then the headband or ear warmer will be too tight. I hope it makes sense, okay? Anyway, um, I'm going to continue making these one, two chain stitches and double crochets into the space of the previous loops. And I'm gonna let you know in the next clips, clip how many of these chain spaces or loops I made. Okay, see you in a minute. I have 28 of these loops, but um, you will need the amount that is will fit your head or for the person that you are making this one for. Um, the yarn is a little stretchy. Um, and that means that if you're going to um, measure it just with your measuring tape, it might be too big. So it would be a wise idea just to um, measure it around your head. Because now this one is 50 centimeters and my head is 58 centimeters. And because it does stretch a lot, it fits perfectly around my head if I crochet 28 of these loops okay so um, yeah it's just a better idea to measure it all right um, to measure it around your head instead of with your measuring tape but it is all up to you just give it a try now chain one without doing a yarn over go into this first loop grab your yarn and pull up. Be sure that you pull it up a little. Then yarn over, go back into the same loop, 
grab your yarn and pull up yarn over into the same loop or chain space or whatever you want to call it grab your yarn and pull up now you have one two three four five six loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all six loops and close it off with a chain one and this is what we're going to do in every chain space or loop of the chain that we just made okay so insert your hook into the next space here the next insert your hook grab your yarn pull it up a little yarn over into the same space grab your yarn pull it up a little yarn over into the space again pull it up now you have six loops on your hook yarn over pull through all six chain one okay let's do that again one two three times six loops on the hook yarn over and pull through all six and then chain one want to do it one more time one two three yarn over and pull through all six loops on the hook and then chain one and this is what you do all the way till the end here and then I'll be back to show you what to do next at the very end of your uh, row just do that chain one just like you did um, before with all the other stitches now this is the perfect time to measure your work again so I said it should be uh, 58 centimeters which exactly it is exactly 58 centimeters or just and about 23 inches okay so you already did that chain one so when you turn your work you do not have to do that chain one again here is the puff stitch of the previous um, row then here you see that space here just right after the puff stitch there is a space this is the place or the space that we are going to work in so here it is this one this one this one so right after the puff stitch of the previous round work in that space insert your hook grab your yarn pull it up yarn over insert pull up yarn over insert pull up yarn over and through all six loops on the hook chain one and repeat go to the next one one two three yarn over through all stitches chain one and this is what you do until you are at the very end of this row okay and um, as you can see it looks like all the stitches are sideways and that is what it is supposed to look like so I'll see you guys at the very end of this um, row and then, then I'm gonna explain you one more time how you turn your work around and this is the um, repeat row it's just a one repeat row through 
three, yarn over, pull through all six, chain one. Alright, I did the chain one and here is my very last stitch. Now, I already did um, my Dutch video, so my loop is easy to find right here. But I'm sure that for you, um, it'll be a little more difficult to find that side loop. So if you, here is your stitch and just pull the stitch and this a little apart and you will find the loop or the chain stitch so you can work your um, crochet hook underneath there. And then make your puff stitch. Two, three, yarn over and pull through all six and then chain one turn your work and now you will be repeating uh, row two uh, until you have a total of nine rows so here is the puff here is the side and make another puff stitch chain one one um, like I just said I did nine rows um, for my version because I want it to be wide enough so it will fit completely over my ears um, if it is really cold outside and um, you're working um, outside or you need to go to work or you need to go anywhere you want to go for a walk and it is cold you don't want to have a little piece of your ear sticking uh, out or um, you will uh, find it underneath um, how do you say that um, it needs to cover your complete ear and a little over that just a little wider than your ear is okay does it make sense I hope so um, now if you make it for a child and you use the same yarn then I am sure that you will need um, less rows if you're making it for a baby and you use a really thin uh, cotton yarn uh, for example then you might need the nine rows um, I don't know um, I don't have a baby I don't even have children so I don't know but um, I think it's logical that the the smaller the ear is the um, um, smaller the headband should be um, I do have a baby doll so I will give it a try later um, and if I made one I'm gonna post it on my Instagram page made by seam uh, I can be found on the made by seam so um, I probably won't be doing it straight away but if you will follow me if you can follow me on Instagram um, you'll find it in the next few weeks or so because I'm planning to make one for um, a friend of ours um, that just got a little baby girl and I think it'll be nice to make a little cute headband for the little girl anyway um, like I said I'm going to do nine rows and then I'll be back to show you guys what to do next beautiful I love this stitch I love it and my final chain one of row number nine um, I do not have a lot of yarn left so hopefully I will be able to make it um, I was able to make it with my first one so I should um, with this one as well um, if you think this is too uh, wide then just do one row less um, mine is now with 
out my final border about 12 centimeters um, which is four and a half inches okay so after you did the chain one turn your work and a loosely chain two now we have been working into this space all the rows before now we're going to skip that space because here is another space insert your hook in that space grab your yarn and pull through slip stitch chain loose two chains skip this one and go into that one and slip stitch chain two slip stitch and this is what you do all the way across one two slip stitch I'll see you guys at the very end of this row Chain two, slip stitch in the last stitch, and then chain one, cut your yarn and pull through. Leave a long tail end. Be sure that you have a long tail end. If you don't have it, you won't be able to sew it all together. I'm going to put all the things aside, get my yarn needle, and I'm going to show you how you should uh, sew this one together. Okay, I have my long tail end on this side and I'm gonna uh, turn it over to this side because for me um, this side is my good side and the other one is my wrong side because here is where my tail end is at the very beginning of my work. Um, just decide for you what your you think your side is the best okay well then get your darning needle and your long tail end just like that and put it aside and then um, have the right side of your work facing you then get this piece and fold it just like that okay then get the other side and fold it like that too now put this side in here and the other side around there so you have let me do that again right side facing you Fold these two together. Fold the two on the other side, the points on the other side together. And if you're going to do it like that or like that, it doesn't really matter. Insert this piece here and fold this over here. And be sure that it is all um, that you align it so when you start sewing through all four layers four pieces one two three four that you really do so so it's together okay so once more right side of your work facing fold it fold it insert this piece into this area here and fold this over here now I have my long tail end here and I can start sewing these together okay I already did the first one in my Dutch video so I just so, um, what I did is I uh, got all the layers see and I just weave my 
darning needle through. Now be sure that you grab all layers again when you go back. Just like that. And sew on the edges. So do not sew here in the middle, but just on the edges. But be sure that you have all layers. See? This is what you do until you are here on the other side. Um, and what you can do is just go back again to this side and be sure that you grab all the edges and then fasten off and then you're almost ready. Sorry, I just bumped into my camera. Okay, I see you guys on the other side here. And then your other yarn end that needs to be sewn in as well. And then this is what it looks on the wrong side, but then you should turn it inside out again. And then you are looking at the right side of your work. And then look at this beautiful twist in your, um, in your ear warmer or your headband. I love this. Um, it turned out really, really nice. The chunky stitch, the chunky yarn, the big twist here, it looks amazing. Now, um, I do have another pattern with this twist, so if you would like to see another pattern, um, then um, I'll put the link at the very end of this video so you can find it. Um, I'm planning to make a few more projects with this um, stitch. So um, if it is available, you will find it at the very end of this video. Uh, or you can click that I here. Uh, you might find it there if it is available already. If not so... Um, then uh, please uh, do not forget to subscribe and uh, no, press on that little bell so you will get notified whenever I upload another video and you might be and it might be the um, the video that I am uh, that I want to do with the same stitch love it love it love it um, there's not much else I can tell you guys about this pattern um, I just would like to thank you uh, for watching please do not forget to subscribe um, see if you can find the same yarn at your local area or uh, another chunky or bulky yarn um, or maybe just a medium worst away for yarn um, whenever you make one of these headbands I would love to see them so um, if you could uh, join our group on Facebook, Made by Seam Headquarters, I would, uh, it would be awesome to welcome you, welcome you guys there. And if you um, are on Instagram, then um, when you post it, please do not forget to tag me, Made by Seam. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you're going to have a look at all my other videos or maybe you just watched this video and you are going to make a few more of these, I would like to say please do not forget to enjoy. Bye for now!
For this tutorial, I'm going to use this pretty yarn of premium as yeah, it is pretty, but I'm supposed to say it in a different way, I guess. All right. For this um, start off with a slip knot on your hook, but be sure to leave a little bit of a tail end so you can sew that in later on. This is how I make my slip knot. Let me do that a little bit slow for you guys. I'm going to lay down my piece, my yarn um, like this over my hand. Then on the back side of my hand, I'm going to um, pull it. No, never mind. Length. Now, usually I say um, for a headband or for a hat, um, that you need the amount of chain stitches, chain stitches, mm -hmm. 